There are people living at this harbor who have never seen the water which once lapped at its walls. The former port city of Aralsk in Kazakhstan was once a bustling hub of business and human activity. But beginning in the 1960s, rivers feeding massive cotton fields for the Soviet Union diverted water away from the rivers that fed the Aral Sea. When I came here, the sea was close to the city. My husband and I had boats and we would swim to the islands for picnics on the weekend. We swam and lay in the sun. Later, the sea started moving away. The waters became shallow and then just dried up. My children saw it only in the pictures. Until the waters were so aggressively diverted, the Aral Sea was the size of Ireland. The disappearing sea took with it fishing, jobs, commerce, and an entire way of life. Just a few decades ago, where I'm standing now, as far as the eye could see was bright blue water. Ships just like this bobbing up and down, bringing in the day's catch. Now, when you drive across the former seabed, all you see is abandoned villages, abandoned ships, and camels. Now, people here call it Aral Kum, or Aral Desert. The Soviet planned economy is largely to blame for the dying of the Aral Sea. All decisions were made in Moscow, which took no account of the ecological balance of that region. The consequences of that could be felt as early as in the 1960s. The Aral Sea region defines the terms pre-crisis, crisis and disaster. It was after the collapse of the Soviet Union that people were faced with the seriousness of the disaster. The sea had split in two. In 2005, experts harnessed what little water still flowed into the Lesser Aral Sea from the Sir Darya River by building the Kok Aral Dam, an $87 million project funded in part by the World Bank. The smaller body of water had become the great hope of the future. We had over 200 people here from Russia, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. The work was very hard and many of us lived here on site for two or three years. But now we're happy to say the time has come to pack up. The structure is working perfectly. Welcomed news after years of failed dam projects and wasted water. In just a few short years, these small dams have turned parts of the Kazakh desert back into a seascape, dotting it with beaches. The hope is that as the project progresses, the dams will be built even higher, keeping more water in, extending the boundaries and the bounties of the Lesser Aral Sea back to the city of Aralsk. When the sea left us, my husband did not want to leave this place. He used to say, our children would grow to see with their own eyes. Even before he died, he believed that the sea would come back. Now, as the excess water flows through the sluices, it disappears out into the nearly empty Greater Aral Sea. No grand scheme for saving that exists yet. For the one million people living in Kazakhstan's poorest region, measurable improvement will only come when these shores once again fill with boats. Lindsay France, RT, Kazakhstan.